We actually have a lot of uh, smart city kind of kind of initiatives, IoT initiatives to uh, connect transportation. Uh, uh, for example, uh, one of, one of the more popular ones uh, with winter coming on is our connected snow plows uh, initiative, where we have. Uh, GPS in our snow plows and we're able to track uh, where the roads have been plowed uh, and relay that information to uh, citizens so that they can access it through th through the web or on a mobile app uh, to find out uh, what the status of roads in their area is. We have an extensive road weather information system that uh, allows us to deploy snow plows uh, based on based on weather and uh, icy roads and snow conditions and and it saved us a lot of money we save about uh, five dollars for every dollar we spend in that program and uh, we also have connected all of our signals in the state of Utah to the network uh, so that we can reduce the time that people have to tr have to stop at traffic traffic lights uh, and uh, when we started the program, uh, people were stopping at about 48% of, of the lights, and, and we've been able to reduce that to about 26%, uh, saving people valuable time and reducing congestion uh, throughout the state. The response has been very positive. People like uh, being able to have access to that kind of information. It uh, improves uh, their commute, and, and they can uh, plan better for the kinds of things they want to do. Uh, we've also uh, improved the kind of information that we provide uh, on transit. For example, we provide uh, transit information and arrival times through a variety of medium, including uh, the Amazon Echo. Uh, even uh, on an Apple Watch, you can find out, you can be alerted uh, of when the transit uh, is going to arrive uh, that you're waiting for. I think we've got always uh, some new projects. Uh, for example, uh, the signal. Uh, the SPAT initiative that uh, relays information from the traffic signals to connected vehicles. It's kind of a vehicle to infrastructure to vehicle uh, service uh, that uh, lets people know exactly what the status of, of signals is. Uh, we've even had some third party uh, Third parties develop applications using that service uh, so that uh, when you pull up to a traffic signal you know exactly when the light's going to change and you can also see information uh, s surrounding the intersection.